Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our new program in times like this. It talks about God's promises. And today we are going to study one of the promises of God is found in Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. And the title of this promise is A Life Free from Fear. I'm wanting you to please bow our heads for a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are so happy that this time we are going to study and to listen your word, your promise. And thank you for the Holy Spirit to work our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. This is the verse that we are going to study. And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 in New King James Version. Why is it that you should not fear nor be dismayed? Why is it that you should not fear nor be dismayed? Because He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. You should not fear nor be dismayed because He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do you have fear? Do you have fear? Friends, this promise was for Joshua. And I believe it is also applicable for you and for me. Thus, like Joshua, we should accept this promise and claim it by faith. Let me ask you, friends, once again. Do you have fear? What is that fear, my friends? What is that fear, my friends? Maybe you have fear of this COVID-19. Maybe you have fear of your physical illness. Maybe you have fear of losing your job because of this pandemic. Maybe you have fear of losing your business to those who are businessmen because of our present situation. Maybe you have fear of losing your position as manager or whatever. Maybe you have fear of losing your sweetheart to those who are having sweetheart. Maybe you have fear of failing the board exam. Those who are preparing for their board exam. Maybe you have this kind of fear in life. Maybe you have fear of losing your friendship. Because you have misunderstanding. Or you have a quarrel. Maybe you have fear of revealing your secret. Because might somebody will know it. Maybe you have fear of telling the truth. Maybe you have fear. Fear of embarrassment. That is why you will not participate in any program or activities. Because you have this kind of fear. Maybe you have fear of talking in front of many people. Maybe you have fear to beg someone for help. Maybe you have fear to approach an elite individuals. Maybe you have fear courting a lady. Maybe you have fear walking in the dark. Maybe you have fear of your new assignment because you do not know what to do there. Maybe you have fear about your future. What happened if I lose my job? What happened to my family? What happened? What happened to my children because of this pandemic? Maybe you have this kind of fear of the future. And among all others, my friends. Friends, whatever your fear right now, you can claim this promise by faith. 
And the Lord is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. You can claim this promise, my friends, whatever your fear right now. And see the mighty hands of God holding you towards victory. Holding you, my friends, towards victory. Friends, let me close this message with this cult that says, They distrust God and have a thousand of fears. How many? How many, my friends? Thousand of fears in regards to the future. Like the children of Israel, they have evil hearts of unbelief. Testimonies, volume 2, page 656. Are you trusting God? Then, my question is, why fear? Are you trusting God, my friends? If you're trusting or you are relying God's power, God's mercy, God's grace, then you have a life free from fear. Again, I would repeat. If you are trusting God's mercy, if you are trusting God's grace, if you have trust in God's power, then your life is free from fear. Next, we will talk about, my friends, a life free from anxiety. Don't forget with that. If you have that kind of life full of worries, so I am inviting you to watch this and to listen this message from from God's promises. Thank you so much for listening to the promise of God. God will bless you more. See you in our next topic. Don't forget, a life free from anxiety.